This week on The Vision, the news is full of stories about climate change and dire predictions about the devastating consequences that will result. But almost 50 years ago, David Wilkerson saw a vision that sounds eerily similar. It's almost as if the Earth turns on its inhabitants with earthquakes, epidemics, and disasters. The global upheaval leaves famine and sorrow in its wake. Are these signs from heaven? This is The Vision, written by the late David Wilkerson in 1974. When it was first published, the prophecies Wilkerson wrote about were unthinkable. Sadly, in the 21st century, these foresights now read like old news headlines. The Vision is brought to you by World Challenge, a ministry dedicated to empowering, equipping, and encouraging Christians in their daily faith. We are committed to evangelism and helping the least of these everywhere in the world. Now, Chapter 2 of The Vision, Drastic Weather Changes and Earthquakes, read by Jason Staples. Drastic weather changes are breaking records around the world. Some experts believe this is caused by volcanic ash from the eruptions in Iceland now being carried by the jet stream in the troposphere. I personally believe that much of the drastic weather we're seeing throughout the world today can be explained up to this point by science. In past centuries, the world has witnessed devastating major earthquakes, killer heat waves, horrible floods, and all kinds of bizarre changes in the weather. All things have always returned to normal. In my vision, I have seen very little that is supernatural about the drastic weather changes we have experienced up to this time. But I also see very clearly divine intervention about to happen throughout the world. This world had best prepare for weather changes that cannot be explained by any other word but supernatural. The world is about to witness the beginnings of great sorrows brought about by history's most drastic weather changes, earthquakes, floods, terrible calamities, far surpassing anything ever yet witnessed. Earthquakes coming to the United States The United States is going to experience in the not-too-distant future the most tragic earthquake in its history. One day soon, this nation will be reeling under the impact of the biggest news story of modern times. It will be coverage of the biggest, most disastrous earthquake in history. This earthquake will cause widespread panic and fear. Without a doubt, it will become one of the most completely reported earthquakes ever. Television networks will suspend all programming and carry all-day coverage. Another earthquake, possibly in Japan, may precede the one I see coming here. There is not the slightest doubt in my mind about this forthcoming massive earthquake on our continent. I believe it will be many times more severe than the San Francisco quake. I am not at all convinced that this earthquake will take place in California. In fact, I believe it is going to take place where it is least expected. This terrible earthquake may happen in an area that's not known as an earthquake belt. It will be so high on the Richter scale that it will trigger two other major earthquakes. I also believe we're going to see, later, a major earthquake in the Aleutian Islands, which will result in a number of smaller earthquakes and aftershocks all along the west coast of the United States. Without a doubt, earthquakes are going to strike the United States and other parts of the world with growing intensity. Concern about earthquakes will be uppermost in forthcoming years. News about government scandals, news about war, and even economic problems will be completely overshadowed by earthquakes. Within minutes after this quake hits, the whole country will know it, and millions will be stunned and shocked. Thousands will be affected with much loss of life and millions of dollars worth of damage. Minor earthquakes, aftershocks, and tremors will be recorded almost daily throughout the world. Earthquakes will become the number one cause of fear and consternation. The earth is actually going to shake, and there will be numerous other earthquakes in various places throughout the world. This is one kind of judgment that cannot be explained by the scientists. It is supernatural intervention into the affairs of men. It is an act of God causing havoc and judgment, calling men to repentance and reverence. It can strike at any time, and there is no way to deter it. Men will just have to stand back in awe and terror as the power of God is demonstrated in the earthquake. I believe the recent earthquakes in Nicaragua and Mexico were a warning from heaven that this is just the beginning. Seismic laboratories are even now recording tremors and aftershocks almost daily around the world. Famine is coming. Famine is coming to the world in our generation and millions will die of starvation. 
Catastrophic years lie just ahead with drought, floods, and other weather disasters wiping out great amounts of the world's food production. Snowless winters will bring dismal crop production and famine conditions in central and western Russia. India, Pakistan, all of Southeast Asia, and Africa will be especially hard hit. The 40-month drought in Africa and the prolonged dry spell in Brazil will both end temporarily. There will be some relief, but conditions will worsen. In Africa, millions will face starvation. American food reserves will dwindle, partially due to drought and floods in this country. Wheat, rice, and soybean reserves will be completely exhausted. The demand for corn, rice, and wheat will not be met. The world and our own generation will face the frightening prospect of world population growing much faster than the food supply. We are already too far back to catch up. The world has faced famine and drought before, but there is a difference this time. In years past, the world recovered when good harvests came in. Now, we cannot recover. We've already had too many bad years, and the worst is yet to come. The situation will only worsen, and because of overpopulation, we will never catch up. This is without a doubt the last day world famine predicted by God's holy word in the book of Joel. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off before our eyes? Yea, joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed is rotten under the clods, the garners are laid desolate. The barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture. Yea, the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee I will cry, for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame hath burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of waters are dried up, and the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Joel 1.15-20 the beginnings of sorrows. Floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, and hailstorms will occur more frequently. More than one-third of the United States will be designated a disaster area within the next few years. Men will be talking about nature being out of control. Strange happenings in nature will baffle scientists. Earth eruptions, blood and moon haze, strange signs in the heavens such as cosmic storms, these and other events never before seen will cause many to wonder. The haze hanging in the cosmos will turn the moon red and will cause periods of darkness over the earth, almost as though the sun refused to shine. Nature will go wild. Nature will unleash its fury with increasing intensity over the next decade. There will be short periods of relief, but almost every day mankind will witness the wrath of nature somewhere in the world. These record-breaking changes will be above and beyond anything experienced in the past. Floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes will destroy crops, animals, and much wildlife, driving prices even higher and causing some experts to suggest that nature is losing its balance. Weather will become increasingly difficult to forecast. Sudden storms will appear without warning. Southernmost regions will be gripped by record cold waves, and northern areas will experience record heat waves. There will be periods of relief when men will say, things continue as they were from the very foundation of the earth. There's nothing unusual about what's happening, so be at ease. Discerning people will have within them an innate knowledge that God is behind these strange events, and is unleashing the fury of nature to force men into a mood of concern about eternal values. These violent reactions of nature will clearly be orchestrated by God to warn mankind of the coming days of wrath and judgment. It is almost as though all heaven is crying out, O earth, heed his call. He holds the pillars of earth in his hands. He will shake the earth until his voice is heard. He rides king of the flood and lord of the winds and rains. Mankind will yearn for a return to normal conditions, but the time is coming when there will be no return. God has aroused himself as one who awakens from sleep, and his anger is kindled towards stubborn and sinful men. He will eventually melt the very elements with fervent heat. But until that last hour, when this earth shall pass away, God will pour out his vials of wrath. 
the God of nature, will use his judgments to reveal his power in warning mankind to flee from his wrath. Short Periods of Relief Many men will appear to be repentant during the times of violent chastisement by nature, but the short periods of relief will make it appear that nature has settled down, and men will be comforted by warmth, sunshine, and normal seasonal weather. But more violence, far worse, will soon follow. Airline pilots will be reporting the worst flying conditions in aviation history. The most intense hurricanes are coming. Many parts of the world face the most violent winters of all times. Europe faces the worst winter lashings ever. Depletion of relief funds. Relief and disaster funds will become nearly depleted. Insurance companies will face huge losses. Many farmers will face financial disaster. Earthquake damages alone will drain and deplete nearly all disaster funds. And there is a limit to what national governments can afford. Unlimited funds are not available, and the peoples of each nation will soon learn that there will be no one left to turn to but God. Americans will be shocked to learn that disaster funds are exhausted. A rude awakening is coming in this area. Outbreaks of Epidemics In the aftermath of famine, floods, and earthquakes, mankind faces the threat of new epidemics. There will be a major cholera epidemic sweeping through various underdeveloped countries. India and Pakistan face the threat of untold thousands dying from epidemics and starvation. Malnutrition, starvation, and all epidemics that accompany it will be a problem faced by a number of other nations as well. Food and relief supplies will not be adequate to combat these overwhelming problems and many will die without help. Medical supplies will reach only a small portion of those in critical need. This will prove to be mankind's biggest war. It will be a war of nature against man. And although God promises never to abandon mankind, it will appear as though he has done so. Hailstorms The drastic weather changes that are coming in the next decade will bring with them violent hailstorms of unbelievable proportions. Large chunks of ice will fall from the sky and cause much damage. These storms will not only destroy crops and smash automobiles, but they will cause the death of many people. Watch for reports of intense ice storms and hailstorms in the future. Also, prepare for the most severe winters of all time and record snowfalls in the United States and Canada. For the past three years, records show that hailstorms have grown extremely worse, with larger and larger hailstones falling. The size of falling hailstones will become almost unbelievable. Strange Signs in the Heavens The Bible predicts that in the last days unusual signs will appear in the heavens. Blood, fire, vapors of smoke. I do not know the full significance of what Joel saw in his vision, but I do know that what I've seen reinforces every one of those predictions. There will appear strange and baffling signs in the heavens and stars. Many prophets over the centuries have seen visions of a huge comet colliding with the earth, spreading a blood-red kind of pollution over lakes, streams, and oceans, causing unusual signs to appear above. I have seen no new revelation, and I can find no scripture to corroborate the vision of colliding planets. But what I have seen, and can freely share, is that the Holy Spirit confirms to my heart that the predictions of the prophet Joel will actually be seen and experienced by this generation. I believe the prophets either saw cosmic storms of such magnitude that they appeared to earth people as balls of fire blazing through the sky, leaving behind a vapor-like trail, or a rain of falling stars or comets racing through earth's atmosphere. The Decade of Disaster When will all of these things take place? Can intelligent men with rational minds accept the idea of an angry God pouring out wrath upon the earth because of sin and corruption? Will we actually live to see the day that civilized people sit in front of a television set and see the news coverage of disastrous earthquakes that claim the lives of multiplied thousands? Or will there be a return to normalcy? Can we pass over all the present drastic weather changes as being nothing more than a cycle that the world is going through? After all, scientists can point out disasters two or three hundred years ago that are as tragic as anything described in this book. I believe we've passed the point of no return. Almost every weather forecaster has added to his vocabulary words like unbelievable, record-breaking, 
strange, fantastic, unpredictable, unseasonable, unexpected, and unusual. Honest men everywhere have a growing feeling that somebody, somewhere, is tinkering with nature. And though most people expect normal conditions to return soon, others, like me, are fully convinced that we have seen only the beginning of unpredictable, strange weather and coming disasters. When and why? I do not know when all these things will happen. They will not all happen simultaneously. These vials of wrath that God will pour upon the earth will be orchestrated by His supernatural hand. All that I'm really sure of is that the Holy Spirit has prompted me to warn everyone who will listen that these things are coming and conditions will worsen. Some of the predictions in this particular part of my vision will happen within the next few years. Other disasters predicted are still future but will surely come. Of one thing you can be very sure. There will be nothing but an overall worsening of weather conditions, an increase in earthquakes and unexplainable disasters with only short periods of relief. That I know to be the truth. You've been listening to Chapter 2 of The Vision, read by Jason Staples. The Vision is brought to you by World Challenge, a ministry dedicated to empowering, equipping, and encouraging Christians in their daily faith. We are committed to evangelism and helping the least of the... Next week on The Vision, if you thought predictions about a decline in the weather were bad, wait until you hear the change David Wilkerson saw coming to morality. He called it a dirt bath. That's next week on The Vision.